Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Gislaine. Uh, today we'll be making the Bruni from Frozen. We're gonna make a sculpture of it. So, hope you like it. So, first thing I did was um, I got a piece of clay and I rolled it into a ball and then a little piece of uh, aluminum foil. And then the same thing, I rolled it into a ball. Then you wanna cover it. Uh, try to keep it smooth and in the shape of an oval. So as you go and you roll it, always want to go back and retouch it a little bit make sure that it doesn't have so many wrinkles it doesn't have any cracks um, so it doesn't crack any bigger when we bake it after that after you made sure that it doesn't have any cracks as smooth as you can keep it you want to get another piece of clay and add it on uh, for the for the snout pretty much for the lips for the upper lip then you want to blend it all together onto the face and keep keep the shape of the face of Bruni then you're gonna make two little holes for the eyes just to give us an idea where the eyes are gonna go uh, later on in the video we'll make the holes for the eyes a lot bigger uh, but just to give us an idea for now and then we're gonna add a piece of clay for the nose and blend it all together to the face and now that we have the basic shape of the face I wanted to add some details first I'm gonna add uh, the upper lip and give it the shape of the smile and then I'm gonna blend it into the face Make sure you smooth it out as you go, so you don't have to do too much work at the end. Awesome, so so far so good. This is how it's supposed to be looking, smooth and good, very nice. Now I'm going to make the holes for the eyes a lot bigger and add some eyelids. You want to blend the top of the eyelids and all around actually uh, onto the face and try to keep it as smooth as you can. And if you have any excess like I did, make sure you remove it with one of your tools. Just kind of go onto the lower eyelid and make the face kind of flat. Okay, and keep in smoothing it out so you don't have any wrinkles. Alrighty, I really like how it's coming all along. It's very smooth, it doesn't have too many wrinkles, it's perfect. So now I cut a piece of, uh, I cut two pieces of clay, make sure it's symmetrical and alike to one another. And then I roll two little balls, I place them inside of the, of the eyes and I flatten it a little bit. You don't, want, you don't want to flatten it a lot so it doesn't blend uh, to the whole of the eyes. You want to keep both the eye and the eyelids separate from each other um, but you want to keep it oval not too not too flat I added some more pieces of clay in the back of the eyes uh, to give it more volume and uh, just to be able to blend it and give it like that skin behind the eyes um, and now with my tool I'm just blending it all together so it doesn't it doesn't have any cracks and then I smooth it out make it all part of the face
So for the mouth area, you want to get your exacto knife and make an incision from one side to the other and then just pull, opening up the, the mouth. Um, you always want to keep the shape of the smile since he's smiling in the picture and remove any excess that you have on the sides. So if, you if you don't like it, just remove it and then smooth it out so it's part of the face again. Here I'm adding a little piece of clay to the upper lip just to give it a little bit more thickness. Blending it together and smoothing it out uh, onto the face. So for the tongue, you want to get another piece of uh, clay, just make a little ball, flatten it, and make sure that all the edges and angles are rounded up, okay? You don't want anything pointy. Then you want to put it inside of the mouth and um, blend it to the back of the mouth. Using your tool, you don't want to use your fingers because then you, you're going to open up your mouth a lot more. So just use your tools and blend it together and make it part of it. So for this, this last step that I'm gonna do to the head, I got my brush, a little bit of alcohol, and then I brushed up the, the face just a little bit to remove any fingerprints um, and any wrinkles that I don't like. Alrighty guys, so that was that for part one. Make sure you watch part two to make the body and then part three to paint the sculpture. Thank you so much for watching.